Hey, my man Carl is pulling up in the Maserati today. We're gonna to be talking about how he literally went from paycheck to paycheck to multi-millionaire through real estate. We're gonna be going in this Maserati all around San Diego, really getting his story, and he's gonna map out how he did that, how you can do the same. Today's gonna to be awesome. Let's go check it out, come on. Tell us about family life growing up, kind of, you know, where you came from. Yeah. What, 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 what was money like? What was the view of money yeah. growing up yeah, the, with your parents? The, yeah, I mean, we, we, we didn't have a whole lot of it, right? I mean, we were, we were comfortable. We were, you know, my, my mother was a school teacher. Uh, my dad uh, didn't work for, the, for uh, since uh, I was around 10. He, had some complications and uh, basically was a stay-at-home dad there. So we were, we didn't have a whole lot of money, man. I mean, it was, uh, it was, we, we, we had a, you know, my brother and I, my mother and father, so a family of four on a, on a, uh, you know, school teacher's budget doesn't go a whole, whole lot, doesn't go too, too very far. So, you know, we, but, 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 but again, as a, as a kid, you don't quite understand you know money uh and the significance of it you just know it's scarce right you just know that you don't have a whole lot of it did you um, did you ever like i'm curious you know a lot of uh, uh for me for example my dad was always worried about leaving the lights on of course make sure the lights on lights off of lights course, off of course and that that you know carry with me into my my you know when i had my first house were yeah. the things in your household about money that was said about money right. that in a sense brainwashed you growing course, up that were said and what course, were those of course what, what, what do you think i'm made out of money huh. um you know was the all always the thing when you go and ask for something you know it was we can't afford that mm. um you know it was uh you know boy you know turn the lights off when you turn you know cut the air conditioning off cut the cut the heat off um, because those all it, so it was always about saving. It was always about saving. Cut the expenses. Yeah, let's. It, 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 was we, there ever any talk of like how do we go create? How do we go make? No, never. So it was always more focused on expenses, saving, yes. not so. Hey, how do we go solve problems? How right. do we create? No. It, I mean, it was it was the traditional thought, right? It was, you know, if if you can get to college, if you can get there, awesome. If you can get out even better and then once you get out of college you get a job for 50 years and then you know you hopefully you you, you can save into your your retirement your 401k and hope for hopefully the 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 government or whoever else will will, will kind of carry you through uh in your retirement days right there was never a conversation of you know can how do we make money right you know how do you make the most amount of money um and then how did your money make money? Like that, that was not a discussion. Uh, and, 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 and honestly, quite, quite honestly, you know, I, I, I grew up thinking that I was going to be a, a high school basketball coach. Like that was the, that was my dream is to help youth, help kids that were, you know, like me, that looked like me, uh, find direction. Mm. Um, and, and, uh, and I think maybe we've, I've shared this story before once before, but, but I was, in college, I, you know, with my t teammates, um, and we're walking down the street, and uh, we're at we're at West, uh, uh, Michigan State. I went to Western Michigan. We're at Michigan State, and we see these police cars kind of zoom past us a couple times, uh, and it's me and four four friends of mine, and you know, the police pull up and gets out the car, and he asks us where we're going, and. All of my friends know that I I had the 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 the, uh, the calmer temper, so they were like, Carl, you you talk to talk to the police officer. So I'm talking to him and I'm hey how, how you doing? My name's Carl. We, we go to Western, play on the basketball team. He's you know he's like, well, do you have any ID on you? Yeah, sure. We got student ID. We got driver's license. What do you want to see? So we hand it to him, and my buddy says. Um, you know, after probably 20 minutes of us being just harassed, my buddy says, why are you holding us, officer? By this time, it was about eight police officers around us. Wow. Uh, they, they promptly 
pick us up off our feet, slam us to the ground. I have a nine millimeter pistol in the back of my head and the police officer said, today is your last day. changed my life that day changed my life because now I go back to school and I say I don't want to be a, I don't want to be a high school basketball coach I got to make money why because money is the is the only way yeah is the only way I can get somewhat of a level level playing field in this world wow. hey I hope you enjoyed part one with Carl if you want to check out part two of this series Click this link right here or we're going to post in the show notes below so you never miss an episode. Also, to keep following along this series, make sure you subscribe so you can see all of our videos that we're posting. Thing wealthy. Cheers.